Hello guys, today I have the Jumper EasyPad 6 review. Let's turn her on. This is a budget two-in-one tablet PC. You can get this on Gearbest around £120 and there is a coupon code in the description below if you want to take a look at that. Um, boot time is pretty quick and it's just loading up right now. Windows 10 has been completely updated since I've been using it. It's fully activated and working really, really well. It's an 11.6 inch screen with a Intel quad core processor. It's also got four gigabytes of RAM and 64 gigabytes of storage. So the boot time there was around about a, a couple of minutes, which is really not bad at all. I have installed a Microsoft Office applications on this device. And if I show you in here, we can just open up Word, Microsoft Word, enter. So it's booting up nicely. There we go, straight into there. Open up a, let's try a template version. Oh, it's downloading your template. There we go, straight in there, guys. And quick and responsive, no problems there. Let's open up Excel or something, a couple of things. Excel. That's pretty rapid. Let's try this template. There we go, so we have two open at the moment. And if we have a quick look at the task manager, let's see how much RAM this is eating up at the moment. So at the moment, fifty-one percent memory. Sorry, there we go. And you can just see there, Microsoft Word is thirty-nine megabytes, and Excel is thirty-seven. So there are the numbers, guys, at the moment. Um, Cortana is using 63 megabytes at the moment. Cortana can be disabled if you wish. And the top one there is the anti-malware Windows Defender that's currently on the laptop and, and working. So let's open up a PowerPoint. Guys. Let's open up a template, create, lovely. Geeky stuff. That's what it's really well, guys. Task manager again. Let's see 53% being used at the moment at the top. Plenty of room. Let's open up Google Chrome now, shall we? Nice and quick. Nice and nice and quick. I've not experienced any lag um, in terms of the you know, general performance on the on the laptop. I'm really, really pleased about that. So that's um, Google opening up. Let's open up a few more tabs. So we've got a few more tabs open at the moment. Go into Task Manager. 58% memory at the moment. Okay. Go into Word. Blah, 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 blah. Super, no problems there at all. Don't save that. What I also did guys as well was I installed Photoshop CC. Um, Photoshop CC, enter. Now these sort of programs are very resource hungry. It does boot up in a reasonable amount of time.
for what the actual specs are. Because you wouldn't really uh, run Adobe applications like this on, on a device like this. But if you can get some work done, then uh, I suppose that's a bonus. So it's still booting up. There we go. New. Create. There we go, guys. New layer. Okay. But you sort of get the idea. It may slow down with um, with huge files and uh, and lots of layers, but it works fine at the moment like this. So Photoshop guys boots up fairly quick, and you can run the basic stuff on it. Click no. And now, if you want to try gaming, guys, I did download Asphalt 8, and this again runs absolutely fine. So you can have it full screen. Turn the volume up, the FN keys guys, function keys, up and down, work fine. And for brightness, it's up to the top as well. Now obviously you don't need to use it in this mode. You can take it off, put the keyboard to one side. There we go, next. <clears throat> this is great size, guys, this is. Just play, come on. Nice big screen on this, guys, and it's quite easy to hold as well. Wee. Pause that. You can also run it from the keyboard itself. So you can pop it back there. And you can play directly from the keyboard by using the keys, the direction keys. You can just see there guys, left and right on the directional keypad. It's a little bit more difficult. And spacebar is your NOS. Go.
Sweet, guys. As you can see, the gaming is not bad on here at all. Battery life, they do stay up to five hours and you definitely do get around about five hours. I've had it on most of the days all day and it's uh, lasted a good while. When charging it though, here is the, the charging cable when you pop that in. Just there like that. The charging isn't super quick, so when you hover over here, it says four hours, 56 minutes until fully charged. That's a little bit of a, uh, on the downside, but you do get a very, very good battery life out of the actual device. So as long as you keep it half charged here and there, it should be fine. So I'm going to use YouTube guys just to show the video playback and how loud the sound is and the actual sound quality. And what I'm going to do is show you uh, on this YouTube channel, uh, which I come across the other day. Uh, he commented on one of my videos. I've just had a look at his channel and some of his video videos and I quite like his style. Um, he's got a really good presenting voice and it's very English and quite a, a vintage sort of background as you can see here look. Stu's reviews the audio could be uh, a little bit louder on the tablet volume is turned right up but you can use Bluetooth speakers and also a, um, a 3.5 mil headphone. The video playback is fine. Quality is very, very good. 1080p display, good sharp images as well. Okay, so that's uh, playback guys and a bit of the audio. And that's also Stu's reviews. Take a look at his video, his channel. I'll link it below. So overall guys, a really, really good two-in-one tablet PC. Um, a couple of things that I want to bring to your attention that have bugged me a little bit is the touchpad it is really sensitive and it's got a few sort of uh, shortcuts as well. So if you swipe to the left there, it brings up that menu right there. Um, swiping to the right opens up um, sort of your previous tasks or apps. If I um, open up Chrome and open up Word. What I also notice is if you pull from the top and drag down, it min sort of minimizes the window in some respect and collapses it as well. That can be a little bit annoying when you're navigating through the mouse pad, so you've got to use it sort of near the, the bottom end of the pad. If you'd use it at the top, if you use it at the top, dragging down, it disappears. But that's something you get used to. Swiping from the right for that. Swiping from the left and you have previous windows that are open. So it has shortcut functions on the actual touchpad as well which uh, I've started to get used to a little bit, but can be a little bit annoying when you accidentally do that and minimize the whole thing. The other thing which I think uh, would benefit this laptop is a dual band Wi-Fi card. At the moment, it's only got a 2.4 gigahertz card in there. And when you do uh, speed tests, so the Virgin line at home at the moment uh, is a 100 meg line, uh, which I get into the home and with this being 2.4 gigahertz card the speed is reduced as you'll see in the result in a moment okay so ping is 15 milliseconds and download speed what's it going to be i've got 22 earlier so it's hovering around 17 18 down see so if you was using a desktop pc or anything like that it would be over 100 meg. And upload speed is about the same. 
so the download speed is what you do lose out on but bearing in mind the uh, the router is downstairs and i am upstairs wi-fi signal is pretty decent up here i'm getting connections i'm getting a download speed it's not super super slow uh, but browsing is absolutely fine but it could benefit from a dual band wi-fi card but you can pick the little usb ones up if you wish pop it in the side there and you can have a dual band wi-fi card so that brings me to the end of the review guys i really hope you've enjoyed the video it is a cracking little tablet pc for the price 120 pound with a coupon i think it brings it down to around about 114 pounds definitely perfect for someone who's at university college or someone who's really you know in a sort of a busy job whack this open do a few word processing documents a little bit of surfing the the web and if you want to play some games take that off there do a bit of mobile gaming back on there sorted so it's definitely definitely worth the money guys and i definitely recommend you take a look at it the link is in the description along with the coupon code please give the video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next one thank you for watching